hello everybody we are back here on the hunter call of the wild and uh as you can see we are playing on yukon today and getting attacked by some wolves already with uh barely anything into this hunt so far and that is definitely not the ones that are leading the pack but i suppose we should probably take those out as well since they are going to be charging us uh, this is not how I intended to start this video, but this is uh, how it's starting, I guess. That was a mythical. Uh, it's probably the pack leader. It's hard to say, though, but we did get a couple of them down. That is a uh, level 4 right there, and then this is that level 5 male, and we managed to get vitals on both of them, so that's nice, I guess, but uh, it's definitely not how I was intending to start. I uh, was gonna try and find something like half decent, but I guess they just wanted to attack us to start things off, so that's how it goes, but I don't really have any plan in particular for today's video besides just roam around Yukon and hopefully find some good trophies. You guys said that you wanted me to do more Yukon, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm not exactly sure where all of the best spots are because this is one of my least played maps, at least it has been one of my least played maps the past couple years. I did play it a decent bit when it first came out, but I really only hunted caribou, so that's primarily what I know uh, drink zone locations of, but I do know some for wolves, so I figured we would check that out. And we are in multiplayer, so hopefully we can come across something pretty cool. There is a few more wolves. There is an egg white right there, so let's go ahead and get that thing down. Definitely going to be our priority out of this group. I absolutely love the way the egg white ones look. Uh, that's also a level 5 female. I don't think those are super common, so... If it gives us a shot, uh, probably wasn't a great shot, but we did hit it, and that is kind of cool, and that is, I think, a red-brown. I'm not entirely sure, though. But either way, it's now down, so we got ourselves a few different uh, wolves on the ground, including an egg white and possibly a red-brown. All right, so here is the egg white one. This is uh, definitely the coolest of them all. 36.50, a nice little gold. That's actually kind of nice that it ended up making it. Um, I don't know how often level sixes make gold, but I do remember them making it. So that is uh, pretty cool. 36.50 on that little guy and a beautiful wolf. Yeah, it definitely looks like it was a red brown. So I guess I was right. Or is that? Oh, it's another egg white. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. We got double egg whites. All I knew is that this one was a bit lighter than the others. I thought it was a red brown, but it actually is another egg white. So that's kind of cool. We got two egg whites in the same group of wolves. That's really cool. I don't think I've had that happen before. And then this was that level five female. We unfortunately messed it up, but it is what it is. We still got it down. Um, It sounds like we might have some more attacking. Oh yeah, definitely do. That is the mythical that we saw earlier. Let's uh, get this guy down if we can. I want to try and get full score, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to. Uh, that should be good. I think at least. Yeah, that should be vitals. Oh yeah, definitely is. There is more though. So we do need to be extra careful. Try to get them down if we can. That's one. That is two. And this should be the last one, I think. There's a random bison as well. <laughs> Not sure. When the bison decided to show up, um, that one decided to run off, so I think we're actually good. But we gotta make sure we pick up that mythical, along with these other ones. It's uh, at least nice that we got a mythical out of it. Uh, that was a three. And then I suppose this is the mythical then. Yeah, that is 38.30. Not too bad. Best thing that we've got today uh, size-wise, so you not complain. Um, I may have made a mistake. I, I don't know if I can survive like this. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. That was close. I, I didn't know if that would actually work. I I didn't know what the hitbox was like on that thing, and it looks like we were okay. Uh, I came up here to look for some uh, grizzly bears, hoping that we would be able to find ourselves a diamond or an albino, but uh, instead I found a train that almost destroyed me. That was uh, very close. Very, very close. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's a melanistic bear. That looks very melanistic to me. And if that's the case, that's pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've seen a rare uh, grizzly bear, so uh, we definitely want to get that thing down on the off chance that it is a melanistic. Alright, so let's get a shot into this guy. I want to make sure that we get a good shot. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the distance is. It's about 250. Uh, not going to be an easy shot. Uh, let's try to get him to go broadside. This should be good. That looked like a heart shot. All right, then. This is the one unfortunate thing about shooting animals from this bridge right here. You gotta walk a long ways to actually get anywhere where you can get down. It's uh, quite a long run. Uh, and in multiplayer, that can be kind of risky, so... I'm just hoping we don't get kicked or anything weird like that before we actually make it down there, because I'm almost positive that had to be a melanistic. I've never seen a com in that dark, but at the same time, it could have just been the lighting. Oh, yeah, there's no way that isn't melanistic. That that has to be, right? It is so much darker, even up close. There's no way that it's not a melanistic brown bear, or I guess a grizzly bear. I always get those two mixed up, but that, that's definitely melanistic. It has to be. I couldn't see this being anything else, but we are about to find out now that we can get a closer look, and oh yeah, it definitely is. And that is a beautiful sight. I honestly love the way the melanistics look. They look so, so good. And yeah, this is a melanistic 5960. Go ahead and tax that. We managed to get heart, left lung, and liver. Basically a perfect shot at that angle. And that is super cool. Definitely an awesome trophy. I'm just happy that we managed to uh, get something out of a Yukon hunt. I don't necessarily have the best luck on Yukon, like, ever. So, it's uh, kind of nice that we at least got something. And I was hoping we would because this is a level 6 server. So, I was expecting to find, like, at least something half decent. And sure enough, we got ourselves a melanistic grizzly bear. Oh, there we go. We found ourselves a level 3 harlequin duck as well. That is super awesome. So, not only do we have a melanistic that we just got, but we also have a level 3 harlequin duck. In the exact same area. This is going amazingly. And I've never hunted up here before on my own map. Maybe we should come here on my map as well. Because this is multiplayer. Who knows what I've got up at this spot. And also guys, while I'm thinking about it. Unfortunately, the last episode of Underrated Weapons didn't quite make it to 300 likes. So we're going to be ending that series and starting a brand new one. Leave some comments down below on what type of series you would like to see us do on the channel. It was a lot of fun to look at the Underrated Weapons. And honestly, I feel like it ended at a pretty good time. We covered most of the guns that I wanted to get to. And there's really not too many Underrated Weapons left. So I'm honestly okay with ending the series there. So let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see as the next series that we do here on the channel. Because I think there's a lot of different cool ideas that we could do for a series. But I want to get your input on it. So let me know what you guys want to see. Alright, so that level 3 is 155 away. This should be a pretty easy shot to make. And, oh my gosh, of course we missed it. Right as I said, it's an easy shot to make. We miss it. Oh gosh, oh no, 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 not like this, not like this, we, we can't lose this thing, not like this. Don't even know, oh, there we go, I was about to say I don't even know where I need to aim at this range, because I'm not sure what range it's at, but we did manage to get it, we just barely saved that, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Well, here is our level 3 duck. It finally floated over. I'm assuming it's probably just a common. And yeah, it is just a common, but it is a 7.20 diamond harlequin duck. 
uh, about as low of a score as you can get on them, and that <laughs> that is not right. Uh, it, it says I hit left lung, but it's showing the right lung. Interesting. Very interesting, but either way, it's kind of cool. It's been a long time since I've killed a diamond harlequin, so I'll take it. That is awesome. Well, I think considering we just got a couple really awesome trophies, we're probably just going to go ahead and end the hunt here. I've been going for quite a while, and that's the only good things I've really found today, so I think we'll just kind of end it while we're ahead. But I appreciate everybody watching. Like I was saying earlier, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see for a brand new series here on the channel. And I will pick, I guess, whichever one gets the most uh, upvotes out of all of the different ideas that you guys come up with. Uh, but with that being said, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any new uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!